A few weeks ago, Vercel introduced the V0, a product that makes the website creation as simple as describing your ideas. They call it the generative AI, combining the best practices of front-end development with the potential of generative AI. Now let me show you the actual product that I'm talking about. So I'm going to just click on this link and it's going to bring us to this v0.dev. And here you can see a lot of people are generating a lot of cool UIs right here by just providing their prompts. So what I want to do is that I want to just click on this contact form right here and it's going to fill out my input field from this prompt. So I'm going to just hit enter right here. And here you can see our UI is now totally done. So this is the version 1, this is the version 2 and this is the version 3 right here. I can click on the code and I can copy the code. I can do whatever I want to do with this code. But first of all, I'm going to just click on this new generation and provide my own prompt right here. Now let me provide my own prompt which is create a hero section for the marketing website. I'm going to hit enter. So here is the version 1 which is not looking that cool, here is the version 2 and here is the version 3. I'm not happy with that, I'm gonna click on this regenerate so it's gonna regenerate that for me. Now this one is looking cool so here you can see this is the version 3, this is the version 2 and this is the version 1 right here. All of them are looking cool so what I wanna do is that I wanna make a setup and try this code. I'm going to open my terminal right here and the first thing which I want to do is that I want to create a folder I'm going to give it the name of like demo now I'm going to go inside that demo folder and now let me just create my next application by just running this command which is npx create next app at latest and now it's going to ask for the name I'm going to just provide a dot and hit enter typescript yes eslint yes uh, tell me css yes src directory no app router uh, yeah app router yes and also the aliases are no now that's successfully done I'm going to just write a code dot so it's going to open my vs code right here and now let me just zoom in a bit so you guys can see everything a bit better and i'm gonna go ahead and go to my app and now let me just create a folder i'm gonna give it the name of like marketing and now inside there we are going to be creating our page.tsx and now inside there i'm gonna go ahead and go to the code and just copy all of the code and now let me just place it right here let me just go to the top and remove all of that stuff from here save my file and now i'm gonna open my terminal and let me just write npm run dev so it's gonna start my server right here and now let me just click on there and here you can see our app is now running now let me just go ahead and go to the marketing so marketing right here and here you can see we have our marketing page right here but now let me just take care of this image Shout out to this person for the image and I'm going to copy this image from this unsplash.com and now let me just go ahead and go to my code and let me just search for the image and img and now let me just hit enter right here and here you can see we have our src and now let me just replace that with this image so now let me just save my file and test this out and here you can see we have our amazing image right here so that was the first attempt now let me just go ahead and try out something new i'm going to just click on this new generation and now let me provide a new prompt like create a different pills with different colors so now let me just hit enter And here you can see this is the version 1 and this is the version 2. So what I want to do is that I want to copy this code. I'm going to copy this code and now let me just create a pill folder right here. So we have a pills and now inside there let me just create a file which is a page.tsx and now let me just paste this coding and remove this stuff from here. Sell my file. So instead of writing this marketing I'm going to change that to pills and now let me just hit enter and here you can see we have our amazing pills right here. Now that's cool but now let me just go ahead and go to the next UI and I'm going to take a screenshot of these cards right here. Let me just take a screenshot of that. I'm going to save that in my desktop. I'm going to give it the name of like uh, next UI and now let me just save this file. And now let me just provide that image right here. So I'm going to just click on this upload image button. And now let me select this image. And let me provide a prompt which is create this uh, cards UI. Now this is the version 1. This is the version 2. And this is the version 3. And now let me just go ahead and click on the code. And it is now importing something from the Shetson UI. So now let me just go ahead and go to the Shetson UI. Let me just go to the Shetson UI. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the documentation. And now let me just click on the installation and we are going to be working with uh, what do we call it next yes and now let me just copy this command and now let me just place it right here so let me just stop my server and now let me just place this command hit enter so it's going to install this Shetson UI in my machine which style would you like to use I'm going to go with the default and slab would be fine and we want to use the CSS variable so yes I mean like we're not going to be touching the CSS variable file but yeah I'm going to just set that to yes and everything is now successfully installed now let me just go ahead and just go to this card and now let me just click on there so here you can see we have this card now let me just add there ah let me just click on this npm and add there 
now that's successfully done now let me just go ahead and go to that coding once again so let's just copy all of that code once again and now let me just put the cards right here so we have a cards and let me just create a page.tsx inside then paste the code let me just go to the top and remove all of that stuff from here sell my file and now let me just test this out so we are going to be going into the cards oh i forgot to run my app which will be npm run dev npm run dev and here you can see we're now getting the same ui from this image right here let me just show you there i mean like this is not totally the same like this one but yeah <laughs> we are getting that you can provide more prompts to that and it's going to just generate the same ui but yeah i guess that's going to be fine for now and now finally let me add my own ui and let's just see if it can generate there for me or no so now let me just go ahead and go to there click on this new generation and now let me provide my image let me just select there and click on the open create this ui And this is the AI version, so this is the version 1, this is the version 2, and this is the version 3. I mean like, it did a pretty good job, but this UI is supremely complex, so that's why it cannot generate a coding for that. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, so don't forget to subscribe. And I'm gonna see you in the next video, bye bye and love you all.